Hi, my friends. Okay, so for our story today, I wanted to read you one of my favorite stories. I'm sure you've heard me read it in class at least maybe 5, 10, 20 times. Um, it's called Bram and the Pirates, and I thought it was a good one for today because we were discussing the oceans, and of course, um, Grandma gets taken out into the ocean. So, all right, let's start. Bram and the Pirates. It was because of her wonderful noodle pudding that Grandma met the pirates. On a warm summer day when Melissa was over in the meadow picking buttercups and daisies, Oliver said to Grandma, Oh, we want a noodle. So Grandma cooked a noodle pudding and set it on the windowsill to cool. A delicious noodly aroma wafted out to the warm sea breezes. Yum, said Oliver. Yo ho yum, said three hungry savage pirates who happened to be sailing past. None of them could cook very well. For breakfast, lunch, and supper, they ate raw fish and barnacles. At snack time, they sucked on seaweed. When that delicious noodly aroma reached their three savage noses, they stopped the ship, dropped the anchor, and rowed to shore. Yo, ho, yum, yum, we smell noodles, we want some. Yo, ho, yum, yum, look out, noodles, here we come. They swaggered up to Grandma's house and grabbed the noodle pudding. Unhand those noodles, cried Grandma, but they swallowed them down. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Much better than seaweed, they said. What else is in there to eat? They opened Grandma's cupboard, and in their pirate sacks went strawberry shortcake, mashed potatoes too, pickled beets, pot roast, luscious meatball stew, lamb chops, lollipops, peanut butter spread, Pizza pie, popcorn, pumpernickel bread, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, blueberry juice, apricot, dumplings, rich chocolate mousse, cold chicken salad, spicy apple strudel, oatmeal muffins, and every last noodle. Then, as if that wasn't savage enough, they popped Grandma in Oliver into a pirate sack, too. Help, help, help! We're being kidnapped by pirates, yelled Grandma and Oliver. When Melissa heard their cries, she dropped her buttercups and daisies and ran back to the house as fast as she could. It wasn't fast enough. They were gone. Melissa looked out at the ship, still anchored in the bay. She could hear the roar and clamor the pirates were making as they fought over who had the most food. They'll be eating all day, she said to herself. I'll wait until dark. It will be safer to rescue Grandma and Oliver then. By the light of the moon, she swam out to the ship and climbed aboard. Shh, the pirates were fast asleep. How happy Melissa, Grandma, and Oliver were to see each other again. Lower the small boat. Sneak away while the pirates are sleeping, whispered Melissa. It's not going to be that easy, Grandma sighed. The boss pirate chained Oliver to the parrot perch, and he keeps the key in his boot. Melissa tiptoed over and reached into the boot. Ho, 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 the boss pirate laughed. He was very ticklish. He laughed so hard that he woke himself up. He woke up the other pirates, too. Then he stopped laughing and, well, it isn't nice to steal. You stole my grandma and Oliver. Quiet, the boss pirate roared. She's my grandma now, and you are my new cabin boy. Start swabbing the deck. The pirates pulled up the anchor and sailed away, taking Grandma, Melissa, and Oliver with them. It wasn't a bad life at first. At least they were together. 
Oliver learned to sing old pirate songs. We are rough, we are tough, we are gruff, gruff, gruff. We are gruff, we are tough, we are rough, rough, rough. Brannock cooked lots of noodle puddings and Melissa helped sail the ship. It might have been fun if only the pirates hadn't been so mean and nasty. But they were. They sailed the pirate ships around the world, robbing and plundering everywhere. And when they weren't robbing and plundering, they were teasing poor Oliver. He must be seasick. He looks a little green. They grab his noodle and say, Polly don't want a noodle. Polly want a cracker. The situation was becoming desperate. Every time they tried to escape, they were caught. Once when the pirates were busy counting their gold, Melissa lowered a boat, but the boat rattled and banged against the side of the ship. Another time, Grandma thought they should hide in a treasure chest and get carried ashore. That might have worked if only Oliver hadn't sneezed. Then one day, as they were nearing the island of Bula Bula, Melissa said something shocking. We have to stop trying to get away from them. Never, Grandma cried. You don't understand, Melissa explained. We don't have to get away from them. We know how to sail the ship, don't we? We'll trick them into getting away from us. Here's my plan. I'll draw a fake map and pretend to be whispering about a lost treasure buried on Bula Bula. They waited until they were sure the pirates were listening. Psst, psst, treasure. Psst, psst, map. Psst, psst, bula, bula. The boss pirate grabbed the map. Oh, please don't steal our treasure, Melissa cried. Ho, 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 the boss pirates laughed. It's my treasure now. Grandma, Melissa, and Oliver watched as they scrambled up into the island's rocky coast. They were going to love it there, Melissa said, and she pulled up the anchor and sailed away. Pirates dug a lot of holes in Bula Bula before they noticed. <gasps> it adds! Where is the ship? And that's the end. <laughs> Cute story. Okay, and then I just thought we would do our turtles. So I added some orange to mine and then I could tie up these so hopefully you had fun making these and of course you can make more than one you can make a bunch of them and we have our little turtle um, hand play that we've done before so it goes like this I have a little turtle who lives in the box he swims in the water he climbs on the rocks he snapped at a mosquito he snapped at a flea he snapped at a fish he snapped at me he caught the mosquito, he caught the flea, he caught the fish, but he didn't catch me. <laughs> there we go. So I hope you had fun doing that. And I hope you have a great week. And I hope there's lots of sun this week and you get to go outside and play. And I love you and I will see you next week. Okay, bye my friends.